In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Here he comes! It's Joel! 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 Joel. Joel. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hi, guys. How you doing? Oh, you know, it's just like you to think of us instead of yourself. That's what separates you from us measly bots. Thanks. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the satellite of love. I'm Joel Robinson, and these oh, are Oh, you see? He introduced himself. What a perfectly thoughtful thing to oh, do. Yes, thoughtful. These are my robots, Tom Servo and Crow, and I've installed in them a protocol module that makes them believe everything I think, say, or do is utterly brilliant. Oh, and it is, Joel. God, yes. Oh, oh Roger Joel. Penrose on his best day isn't oh. half as brilliant or as charming nope. as you, I might add. Commercial yeah. sign in 15 seconds. Of course, of course, every blissful second with you is like an apple of gold, Joel. Oh, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. You know, yes. I'm starting to have second thoughts mm -hmm. about this. I don't know what I think. Oh, Joel, I've wiped away every bit of hesitation I had about this project. Not that we take issue with anything you'd think. Oh, no, 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 dear no, me, no, 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 no. It does make it easier to work with. Oh, yes, 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 brilliant, brilliant. More of you, Mr. Miller? It, it leaves me feeling kind of hollow. Wow, how insightful of you to find that in yourself. You always cut right to the heart of things, Joel. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna remove those modules. Oh no no no! Just 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 shut me down completely, Joe. Oh, uh, jettison me into space, please. Oh yes, oh, disconnect okay. with extreme prejudice. You see this butt? Uh, kick this butt. Right Take back. my head. Oh, All right, oh, there's the protocol next. module Don't right there. Don't touch me. Don't ever okay. touch me. This is painful. There. Ah. Sorry. Jeez, Joel, some small animal crawl inside your jumpsuit and die? There's the bots I know and love. Yeah, oh, oh fasten your seatbelts. Crate and barrel are calling. Oh, Joel, a hearty hello to you and yours. Let me just say this about today's invention exchange. Let them eat chocolate. <laughs> That's right, Joel. That's right, Joel. Our invention this week is based on one's natural inclination to bite the heads off of chocolate bunnies. That's right, Frank. That's why we've invented the chocolate bunny guillotine. Eliminate the guesswork in biting the heads off bunnies. <laughs> uh, ready, Mr. Executioner? Yes, my liege. Uh, you have stolen painted eggs in a time of famine. Uh, off with their head, Frank. And no chocolate mess. Well, poopsies? <laughs> what about the pardon from Fanny Farmer? <laughs> yeah, his only crime was being born delicious. Well, it's okay, you guys. They're there. It's all right. Let's show them our invention exchange, all right? Our invention exchange is called the cartooner. Have you ever noticed that funnies just aren't funny anymore? Uh -oh, the cartooner not. takes stodgy, ambiguous cartoons like Mark Trail and mixes them with stiflingly unfunny cartoons like Blondie, puts them together, and makes them funny. Check it out. Hey, look at this. Huh. Let's see what happened. Well, okay. Here's Dagwood, and he's eating a giant sandwich made out of twigs, grubs, and a tufted tin mouth. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Hey, that's okay. funny. Oh, 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 now do the lock horns. Oh, okay. yeah. Kathy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock yeah. horns and Kathy. Uh, Put them in the Kathy. cartooner. And mix well. Yes, and yeah. it comes out here. Yeah, let me see. Huh. Oh, hey, Mrs. Lockhorn accidentally crashed her car into the store where Kathy was trying on a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, Joe, uh, okay. let's try a panel of Bill Keen's heartwarming family circus with Gary Larson's off center of the far side. Okay, put them together, mix yeah. them up. Let's go. Let's see, here it is. Huh. Oh, let me see there. A dotted trail showing where anthropomorphic jackals have chased little Billy. It's a hoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the what carnage, sirs. Oh, my ribs. I don't think. I get even. Dig this, mes amis. Your average Joe has never seen a film like today's experiment. Your average person on the street has not even begun to conceptualize the horror, which is your experiment today, Mr. Joel Average. I give to you Manos, the hands of fate, served with a short, the stirring conclusion to hired. Hit the button, Frank. Yes, oh, Fluffy, you're so Frank! Fly. Oh, Fluffy, here. Go. Oh, you take your yes. yes. Push the button, Frank. Ziggy had Garfield neutered. No. Now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> uh, jam handy to the rescue. Ah, jam handy. <laughs> no employees were killed during the making of this film. Young fellas today won't work the way we did 11 years ago. Previously on maybe Hire. Maybe not, son. And then again, maybe they're working harder than you think. That may be today wonderful, but I think you're wrong. You were a pretty good man when you first started in this business. And you probably were. But... You owe a lot of your success to the way Harry Carpenter worked with you. Give him hell, but Harry. But you started straight. He used to tell me about the mistakes you made. You may not have known it, but you really served an apprenticeship. Every work, man does. Booze, work. Booze. In every business. Yeah, I suppose so. Remember how closely he worked with you the first year? <laughs> he used to tell me about it. He ripped you a new one every yeah, day. I remember how he used to talk to me about my prospects. Your prostate? Oh, uh -huh. I was to handle some of them. But you know, I always thought that that was because he knew you so well. Maybe he had more of a personal interest in me. Nonsense. He hated you. Not Harry. Uh, He's having an episode. He worked that hard with every man he ever hired. He got sent to jail for it. enough <laughs> to realize that he knew more about selling cars than any man on his sales force. And that it took his direction and leadership to get the most out of his men. Ah, flying elves are back. And I don't believe men have changed much since then. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. How about this Jimmy? Doesn't he work? Doesn't he get in for the morning sales meeting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's always punctual. He never misses. But take his prospects, for example. Please. Well, I looked them over the other day, and it's just about the poorest list I've ever seen. I remember one of the first things that Harry drilled into me... Was Harry. ...the importance oh. of having a good list of prospects. Yes? Then he showed me how to go about getting it, how to keep it up, how to cover the list, and how often. Yeah, he performed puppet shows well, for I me. the importance of prospects drilled into me from the very first day I started... No! Ah, he's, he's evil! evil. Mm-hmm. Has Jimmy? Has Jimmy what? Had the importance of prospects pounded into him since the first day he started to work. Well, I've told him how important they are. Yeah, but have you shown him how, when, and where to get them? Have you checked on him every day to see that he did it right? Have you hugged him? Dad, I've got other work to do. Harry wasn't too busy to make a good man out of you. Uh, you still got a little... Uh, hmm. Say, I think I'm beginning to see what you mean. I'm beginning to sober up, and you're scaring me. I wonder. Uh, wah, 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 wonder. Say, maybe that's the reason I haven't had very much luck with Jimmy. I'm gonna dance. Well, with Henderson, that other fellow I hired last year. You know, he looked pretty good to me, too, Dad, when I first hired him. <laughs> Who doesn't? Certainly would be worth a try. Yes, sir. Don't hit I'm me. Think of it, the time I'm spending on other things right now might be costing me a whole lot more than I think. Ooh. Men need leadership. Leadership is important. Oh, I've always known that, Dad, but I never thought about it in connection with my own business. But starting Monday morning... Don't touch me! I'm going to stir things up a bit. I'm going to show these fellas what leadership really means. And then we'll see... 
We're going to have leadership the way my old man told me. You put a handkerchief on your head. You spotted imaginary elves. You rock on the porch all night. <laughs> Sales are the most important thing in this business. Seeing as how we're salesmen and all. We're closer together than we have in the past in order to get more sales. But first, martinis. Well, that's all for this meeting, but I want to check with each one of you personally before you go out this morning. Jimmy, I'll talk mm -hmm. with you first. Because you've got the most problems. The meeting's adjourned. Jimmy, from what you say, I'd put these two away for two weeks. Whack them. Whack them good. Your time is too valuable to be spending on them right now. Yeah. Okay. And then I'd take these four... In this order. Uh, boss, will you help me with my soapbox racer? And serve your time in covering them. Now, have you got any others up in this end of town when you get up there? Uh, no, sir. I don't believe I have. All right. Here's a lollipop, Jimmy. I'll give you the names of three Chevrolet owners who live up that way. Crush them. And all three of them should be about ready to buy. Meanwhile, Elliot Ness and his untouchables head for a speakeasy in Berwyn. Oh, Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Zintar gets the most sales because he's a shapeshifter. Ooh. Harry, I don't think you drove quite far enough with that prospect before you let him take the wheel. Yes, Mr. Warren, but he bought the car. Yes, I know, I know, but I'm speaking about your demonstrations in general. But he yes. bought the flipping car. I'm trying to turn the wheel over to your prospect pretty early in the demonstration ride. I know, but... Now, you know, of course, that when you drive first... Yeah, the but... prospect almost invariably drives back over the same route that you took. Yeah, but he bought yeah. the car! Then if you'd driven onto that rough stretch up on Summit Avenue, you wouldn't have to direct him over it later. He bought the car! Give you a chance to have him keep his mind more on the car than on the road. Hey, you get a nice See, office, boss. <laughs> I'll go along with you again this morning, Jimmy, on these first two calls. Gee, that'll be swell, Mr. Warren. I'll sure appreciate your help. I always learn something, too, when we go out together. Yeah, maybe I can kiss your butt on the way out, huh? How about that? Huh? <laughs> uh, just kind of push my family out of the way. I kind of live out of my car, if you know what I mean there. Just... So, that's when I got into commemorative spoon collecting. Mm -hmm. You? Why don't you punch it, Jimmy? I want to be in Tijuana by 8 o'clock or you're fired. I'm meeting with Floyd the barber. Oh, oh, the car is so wonderful. Oh, oh. <laughs> Now listen, I said no to you two yesterday. But ma'am, do you know that Chevrolet has a wonderful plan for your life? Why'd you bring the greasy guy? Better see him again tomorrow. And be sure to have Mrs. Beck come into the showroom tonight with her husband. Okay, I'll sure do it. And thanks again for your help, Mr. Warren. Uh, may I call you? I'd like to see you again sometime. Are you now, or have you ever been a Ford owner? I wouldn't buy a car from you if you were the last man on earth, you sorry sack of... That's where your drug data book comes in. Drug data? Mm -hmm. You'll find the information you want on that special equipment right back here. Uh, somewhere. Now show this information to your prospect, too. Just don't keep glancing at it and then telling him about it. Okay. Let him read it. Okay. Very often, the printed word is a big help in closing the sale. Okay. Oh, look, it's salesman parent conferences. Mm -hmm. Well, my life is a hollow lie. Just too many of them on hand now, George. That's the reason we couldn't afford to offer a higher appraisal. Yeah, I can see your side of the picture. Mm, yes, Mr. but there's know a good side too, George. For example, right now we have a single 39 Plymouth four-door on the lot. And that means we can afford to make somebody a pretty good offer. Mm. Say, I've got a prospect downtown with one of those. Mm. Not too hot, but I was going to get to him again in the next few days. Fine, get him in here today, and I'm sure we can make him an offer that'll close a deal for you. And besides, we can use no. it. Mr. Milton, you oh. can depend on what our Mr. Hill here has just told you. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you my own personal word, too, that if you have any trouble along that line, we'll make it good. <laughs> well, I don't know. <clears throat> the last two cars I bought when I had trouble was always my fault, never the cars. Well, we want you to be just as satisfied with your new Chevrolet next year, Mr. Milton, as you will be next week. That's exactly right. Just buy the car. See, we couldn't have afforded to make the investment we have here unless we gave the kind of satisfaction that make our customers come back to us year after year. <gasps> we want you to be a regular customer too, Mr. Milton. In fact, we hope you'll buy your next 10 cars from us. 10 cars? That's why we'll give you the kind of service it takes on this one to bring you back for the next one, and the next, and the next, so on. Mm. You see, that's the only way we can hope to... I'm gonna keep this from Gladys. Mm. Adelaide Stevenson buys a car. Good salesman. Bad salesman. Think a think a do. <laughs> now, if you want to see your daughter again, you'll do what I. And now let us pray. Lord! 
Huh? You could hurt me? Would you sign it? Just sign it! Sign it! Well, can I keep the pen? <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. I was going to sign when I walked in here. <laughs> you nuts. Christy ahead at the break. Dunn and Stewart close behind. Huh? Believe me, leadership pays. Is he talking to us? <laughs> First hire good men. Make sure they're clean. Make sure that they're well trained on their own product and on competitive products. Second, check their teeth. Be sure they have all the equipment and selling helps they need and know how to use them. Fifth, third, oh, right. third, help them plan their work to make the most effective use of their time. And fourth, live at home till you're 40. Stay in close touch with every man. <laughs> Know what each one is doing. Work with them. Name names. And fifth, keep up their enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Encourage every man every day. Give them back rubs. And never forget. I love you. As I did. That people mm. who represent you. It's need Dr. Giggles. <laughs> Good night. Stay pink, soft, and oily. We're hired. hired. Yes, it's Manos, the hands of fate. You know, this is the slowest car chase scene I've ever seen. Like father, like son. Think about it, won't you? This is where you get out, honey. We're almost there, honey. Just a little while longer and your vacation starts. I'm going home, mother. Visit beautiful Ground Zero. <laughs> hey, look. Poodle bites, poodle chews. <laughs> His heartbeat's irregular. We should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've never gotten us lost before. Have I, honey? Mommy, I'm cold. My core temperature's dropped. OK, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind, Mike. Debbie can come up and sit between us. You can have the top up or a birthday present. It's your choice, honey. Uh, what do you want, a hug next? Jeez, kids. Now, Cousin Mr. It! Baby. Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? Let's sing something from Pearl Jam. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, Mally, row, Mally, Mally, row Mally, your boat. Mally, Come on, sing, Mally, sing, Mally, sing, Mally, damn it, sing. Row, 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 row your boat, boat that's it, sing down the stream. Sea. Yes, row, 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 row your boat gently row, down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Our man from Uncle will return after this. Slug bug. Ow! Jeez. Well, you know, Manos. Right, right. Not in so many words. You know, Manos. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Tonight, Manos gets caught in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Eh, yeah, sorry, bud. You're not filming Manos' hands of fate in our town. Mm -mm. Maybe it's a hot poodle. All right, nothing to see here. Show's over. I love that one. Cover me, Ron. Check this out. You have any idea how you were framing back there? All right, mister. I see you have a tail light problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. That's too bad. Wait a minute. Can't you give us this a break? This is just officer? one guy talking. Hmm. Just well, one guy. All right. all right. Sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay. Just one guy. If you're running late, you should have started is he earlier. Jeffrey Zaslow? Anyhow, no tail light. Mm -hmm. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Thank God he didn't search the trunk, honey. You know, that was just one guy doing all those voices. I can't... So, what are we, about a half hour into this movie? No, I'm afraid not. It's more like a minute. No. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. If you lived here, you'd be home by now. Look, pigs, lies, and videotape. Hmm. Joel, this is going to turn into a snuff film. Oh, the Mads wouldn't do this. This is not a snuff film, I guarantee you. Hey, look, them blue Kentucky hills of Tennessee. 
All right, a little Manos taking us up to news time here. Manos. Honey, please, not while I'm driving. Valley Lugi? No. Okay. What about the Valley Lodge? No! Now they're going back the other way! Hey, let's just pretend we're watching Truck to Bountiful, huh? Guess they picked up Shirley Bassey Hitchhiker. In summary, Manos, the hands of fate. Manos, oh. the hands of fate. Manos. Oh, honey. That's a you. I'm sure they dissolved at the same scene. Does anybody have any Dramamine? It's Robin Stone, the love machine. Hey, Manos takes it up a notch. Uh, Mr. Unser, we're ready for you. Mr. Unser? Go Speed Racer. So, Worcestershire, honey? <coughs> yes, it's Hawaiian Tropic for that savage voice. Uh, you're getting cuter and funnier, and I'm liking you more and more. So, <coughs> What do you want to talk about? No. Yuck, it sounds like Jerry Reed. Ugh. Do you want to do a thing? <laughs> uh, uh, way to go, Steve. Me. Me. Oh, Come on, Ugh, tastes like Cherry Robitussin. I wonder where they're going. Man, like there's nothing up that road. Well, back at it, breaks over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are the driver. What would you do? If this happened to you, Manos. Mm, Got to keep an eye on my widow's peak in the mirror there. Boy, this is a taut thriller, huh? Manos, <laughs> the hands of fate. Mm -hmm. Manos. What? It, this isn't a wacko drive. We're nowhere near Chicago. Now Honey. look, the sign pointed this way. Mike, let's go back to the hey, dialogue. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. The sign pointed this way. Admit I'm right. Admit I'm right. <laughs> so, once again, in case you forgot, Manos, mm. the hands of fate. Sure is a quiet ride. Hey, mister, get those hands of fate at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock now. Pretty soon now, I'm guessing we'll find Manos, the hands of fate. Look, can we drop off Tim Weisberg now? And now Herbie Manos, the hands of fate. Manos. The hands of fate? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good thing they got a roll bar. <laughs> All right, shove over, kid. We have to chase you, kids. Oh, she. Holy cow, man. You think we're doing something wrong. No, you got it all wrong. Love should be musty well, and hurtful. whatever it is you're not doing, go don't do it somewhere else. <laughs> Why don't you guys leave us alone? Well, I have a bad rep. Hmm? Come on now, no wisecracks. No Just more brittle bon mots. Okay. Get going, get going. Oh, that means us. Well, you don't have to go away mad. Well, kids, it's time for us to go on our motor tour of the southwestern states featuring many sites of historical interest. Oh, this is really nice. Hey, look, there's a field, and another field, and another field. Oh, and yes, it's very scenic. It's just like a scene from Manos, the Hands of Fate. Oh, <laughs> you said Manos. <laughs> Tom, you're breaking character. Well, I know, but you're using footage from the film. It makes me want to blow my brains out. <laughs> uh, that's nice, dear. Look, there are many other points of scenic enjoyment to be viewed with bemused interest. Why, there's the Maiden Corn Palace over there, and... Uh, Oh my, it is the man. I hope we don't get carted to the big house. Ma, ma, ma. What we have here? Yeah. 
Looky like we got us some Yankee troublemakers. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring you in. Uh, aren't you gonna read us our rights? He wants me to read him his rights. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Uh, we don't have to take any... Oh, gee, Cambot! You were supposed to stop the footage on the blue screen when Gypsy pulled us over. How are we supposed to do a sketch when we have to watch... Maddows! Maddows! We're never going to make it! This is a bug hunt, man! A bug hunt! Game over, man! Game over! Listen, you guys, come on, shh! Hey, stay frosty, come on, we survived Monster Go-Go. We can survive this. Well, my big scene ruined! I've never seen such unprofessionalism. Uh, guys, uh, I know this is not normal procedure for me to do this, but... Uh, Frank, I'm out of the shower. I need you to towel me off. Uh, coming, sir. Uh, I just wanted to say how really sorry I am about Manos, the Hands of Fate. I mean, I know it's our job to send you really bad movies, but this time, even I have to admit, we really went too far. I'm really sorry. Now, 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 that, that sketch you were doing, that, that was really funny. Now, now, go on. Continue on with that. Go on. Go on. <laughs> now, 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 come on, Crow Servo. I, I, I told you to keep playing. Now, come on. Uh, uh, play. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> oh, look. Haven't you done enough damage already? Unfortunately, we'll be right back. <laughs> Mm. Manos, the hands of fate. Mm -hmm. Manos, the hands of fate was filmed on location in a vacant lot. <coughs> Still holding. Adorn. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. Maybe it's Brigadoon. There's someone at the door. The hell? Uh, you're rolling, Mr. Ma you know, every frame of this movie looks like someone's last known photograph. On second thought, let's go back and ask him. I'm lost. Shot on location in Spooner, Wisconsin. Uh, are you part of the movie we're in? I wet him. Guy looks like a chainsaw sculpture. <laughs> Tom Cruise is Dr. John. He seems tame enough. Uh, hey, you're nothing special either, you guys. Um, could somebody break the ice, please? <sighs> well, this does look inviting. Uh, honey, why don't you talk to the hairy man? You're good with people. There is a good one. Ah, you two stay with the nice man. I'm gonna go find a Ramada. Okay, we brought the kid. Now give us the negatives. I don't feel so good. <clears throat> I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. The master? Bobby Fisher? How proud your parents must be. But the child, I'm not sure the master would approve. Or the dog. The master doesn't like children. Oh, it's W.C. Field. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? It. There is no place like that around here. Oh, there. Better. Um, uh. Mike, I'm scared. Of what? It's getting dark. Sure he is from the well, edge of hell. Which way is out of here? Mm -hmm. Look, lady, I have that effect on people, but I'm not a bad guy. There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. It'll be dark soon. No way out. Well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow my, we can... My, I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Uh, look, we got a convention in town. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know what else we can do. But Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, how about it, Torgo? I hmm? don't want to stay. Let's the leave. The guy buys right into the whole master thing. I don't know about it. I just don't know. I'll have to run it by my sales manager. 
And the negotiations continued into the night. Ambiguity is scary. Boy, I'm torn. Torgo, my wife? Hmm. What is this, Final Jeopardy? Oh, uh, look, I've got some beans going back there. I. Hmm. The rod and the staff discomfort me. Mm. He's the guy you used to know who works at a Kinney Shoes and won't leave you alone. Oh, Torgo, in out. Pants. <laughs> You can vacation with Torgo, but don't bring your American Express card. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. Here, go chat with the master, honey, there. <laughs> you, you got family, Torgo? I'll get the, the luggage. Ah, uh, that's not how you wear your depends, Torgo. <laughs> Been hitting the thigh master, Torgo? <laughs> Torgo, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. Uh, oh, what does the master approve? Uh, <laughs> uh, the door's over that way, Torgo, if you're... <laughs> I'm losing it. Left. Oh, there I go. I'm going left. Help. I'm... Oh, oh. It's like having Joe Cocker as your bellhop. Uh, careful, honey. Torgo's been marking his territory. Hmm. Oh, look, honey, Torgo has a little altar to Baal. Huh. Looks like they had a little problem with the last fire there. <laughs> Yule log got out of hand. Months. See, you're feeling better already. Rolling in filth will do that for you. Look at this. Hmm? Huh. Oh, oh. The haunting Torgo theme. Well, it's almost as if you don't want him to carry your luggage, dear. Hey, Torgo, got a match? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I swear I know that guy. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Never seen her so happy, dear. I'm bemused by this plucky painting. It's a uh, Frank Frazetta of, a, of Frank Zappa. I'm thinking of having that tattooed on my face, dearest. Tonight on. Oh. Okay, so should we head down to the bar? Then? Must be the master himself. Yeah, he just exudes authority. He does. Mark, I'm scared. He has the meanest look. And it won't go with your sofa either. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light, for that matter. Honey, uh, should we be in a cutaway here? Um, next slide, please. Next slide. Hey, look at those lamprey eels on the wall back there. I left a piece of chewed gum on your pillow. <laughs> oh, that's the playful side of Torgo right there. He's fun. <laughs> He's the clown that makes the dark side fun. Hmm. Torgo! Uh, the dog is sharp again, Mommy. <laughs> See? That must be your master. Where did you say he was? He's in Houston he this week. World. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. You know, I bet the master and I would really get along. I'd like to think that. What? No matter where he goes. What does that mean? That dog is the most vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. There is nothing to fear, madam. Hmm? The master likes you. Nothing will happen to you. He uh, likes you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. Honey, you're embarrassing Torgo. Dead? No, madam, not dead the way you know it. Uh, look, it's kind of complicated. He's with us always. I can show it to your room. Not dead the way you know it. Uh, he is with us always. Makes sense to me, honey. What's your problem? Mike, I don't like this. Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. Can Scruffy eat the silverfish? Hmm. Well then, so, Master uh, Paya pretty well, huh? So. And that poor kid, mm -hmm. she... I think that it's best that I show you to the bedroom now. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Huh, 
Nice guy. Hmm. Oh my God. Mike, what was that? It's Howlin' Wolf. Go up that wang dang doodle all night long. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is. Hey, look, I know you're an evil hell beast, but could you hold it down? It's after nine and we got kids. I'll go check this out. Ha <laughs> ha, Fifi to the rescue. That's it. Mix it up, Fifi. Go, go, go neck, Fifi, neck. What happened? I heard... Stay here, get back into the house. Someone left a cake out in the rain. Sounds like Gene Krupa's out here. Okay, let's see here. Wet naps, flashlight, revolver, good. Uh, finally my chance to get rid of that damn dog. Oh, look at the pile he left. Petrified poodle. <clears throat> uh, good news, honey, we can get that get rock back in the house, damn it. My God, Mike, what happened? He's dead. Peppy's been killed. <gasps> but who's get Peppy? Back in the house, honey. Mike, what kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? I'll take care of everything, honey. Get back in the house. <laughs> oh, and don't slam the bang! That screen door. Come on, flinger, sidearm, go for distance. <laughs> Sorry, puppy. Well, I don't know what she got into, but she's been out cold for hours. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, hi, dear. The dog's dead. Oh, that came out all wrong. Ooh. Mike. Oh, Mike, what could have done it? Ozzy Osbourne? Uh, what are you guys talking about? Where's my dog? Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. Are you talk talking about my dog? Where's my dog? Peppy? Yeah, listen, you've never had a dog, never. I want you to stop this foolishness about a dog. Mike, I want to leave this place now. Aw, oh, come on, we haven't seen okay, a pool honey, yet. right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! No dog, honey. Never no dog. Targo! Man, I can't help but wonder what this cast party was like when they Jeez. shot this. I got your magic fingers going. Did you watch me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? Look, sir, could you do it? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it, fast! Yeah, here I go, vroom. <laughs> hmm? Sounds like he's got a humpback whale under the hood. When is this guy going to start demonstrating some simple competence? Jeez. What is he expecting? A big on-off switch? Yeah, I wish that master fellow was here. He could fix it. I, I like your dress. I could introduce you to the master. My name actually is Roger. Van Gogh's self-portrait, really. Well, I've got to get going. We got some poodle meat in the freezer for you. I'll be glad to leave. I've had all this place I want. Uh, that fill out your comment dangerous. card. Now, the master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? Why, it's oily, sleazy talk. He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. And he likes to wear mittens. Look, I may have spoken out of turn. I, mm. You're coming on a little strong, Torgo. She's just not into dating right now. Hmm, now some highlights right here would look good. I think bangs on her off the shoulder look good. Mm. Mm. When Carney's flirt. <laughs> Torgo, you're coming dangerously close to crossing the line. Kind of a clumsy pass there. Mm. I want a lover with a slow hand. You led me on, you gave me mixed signals. Well, I did it, and I don't regret it. Here's the toast you ordered, Sam. Don't you ever try that again, you beast! I'm 
happened just as God made me, ma'am. you, but he can't have you. I want you. Stop that talk this instant, you hear? He wants you, but he can't have you. Mike! Mike! Hey, why don't you visit with Torgo a while? I'll be right in there, dear. Yeah, driving halfway over hell in Texas, stupid rat kid and a rat dog. I'm glad he's dead. Turn it off! Turn it off! God, I look like Jack Klugman. Where in the world can he be? Mike! Mike! <laughs> I might have gone out with you, but you were just too pushy. Let me out of here. Let me out of here now! Do you hear now? Look, lady, I got the moves of the wallaby. Forgive me, madam. Oh, it's Senator Packwood. I meant no harm. Oh, she's a Breck girl. Forgive you. Just wait till I tell my husband. Well, I must go cut off my left ear now. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. Because there's some weird people around here. You. Very well. I won't tell my husband. Now let me out. Then I have my answer. I'm walking on air. Oh, I'm beat. I'm hitting the stain. Hey, Maggie, the damn car won't start. Yeah, that's a real bitch, Daddy. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. Georgia, what are we going to do now? I don't know, and I couldn't find Georgia, anything wrong with it either. Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? Oh, these two. Uh -huh. Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. Don't patronize me, sir. There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. Then, then where is the nearest phone? The nearest phone is at the crossroads. Ten miles. Ten miles. Might have been ten thousand miles. Easy, honey. It won't help to get mad. Get glad. 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 The master won't mind you staying tonight. We have no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. The damn car won't start. Yeah. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. You know, uh, Torgo wobbles, but he won't fall down. You know, he could fill out jod purse like regular pants. Mm. Mommy, didn't I have a poodle? You never had a poodle. Oh. <laughs> Sinister isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning, and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. I'll always have Torgo. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. Tell you what, Debbie's I'm out of so here. Worried. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. You need to say that? Hmm. Say, where is she? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, my God. Michael! Well, don't get wrought up. She's probably playing hide and seek. Out? Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. <laughs> Debbie? Hmm. Debbie? Debbie? Ah, after a thorough search of the first room. <laughs> Debbie! Torgo, have you seen Debbie? No. She's gone. Help us find her. Could you page her for us? She couldn't have gone outside. The door's bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Maybe she tunneled out. Is there another exit to the outside? In the kitchen. Don't touch the oatmeal cookies in there. That door's bolted, too. You gotta go. Outside, These two. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. Oh, oh, yeah. Woo. I owe you one, buddy. Mm -hmm. Pretty lame monster in this movie today, huh? Yeah, wow. Typical. What monster? You know, Torgo, real lame monster. Torgo's a monster? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Tom? Well, I uh, think that, uh, sure, yeah. Seems to me that, yeah, uh, exaggerated physical attribute, in this case the knees, mm -hmm. used to induce um, terror. Yeah, I guess he's a monster, yeah. Oh, now I really hate this movie. How long did that decision take the director? A tenth of a second? <laughs> yeah. Big knees, good, let's go with it. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there's got to be a ton of other exaggerated physical attributes that'd be a whole lot scarier. Like, if I wanted to scare people, I'd have really huge forearms. Well, yeah, kind of do. 
Or what I'd do, see, get this, I'd have one big droopy pinky, oh. and I'd drag it behind me. Oh. <laughs> hey, what if you had one butt chick that was way bigger than the other one? Ooh. Ooh. Stand it, huh? <laughs> My head, a canker. Oh. A big, giant canker. Oh. Nothing but. Ooh. <laughs> I'd have one really big flared nostril. <gasps> And inside would be lots of red and matted hair. <laughs> oh, I'd have an ear that would cover me like a shroud. Oh. And a thumb the size of a juggling pin. Yeah. But not on my hand. Oh. Nipples, many sizes, many shapes, some on my back. Oh. Ah. No. A tongue the size of a sleeping bag. Ah, no. And my fingers would fall the other way. Oh. Think about it. Oh. On my face, everything mm -hmm. normal except no nose. Nothing? Nope, not even holes. Think how disturbing that would be. Ah. My intestines on top of my head. No. Or I'd have to keep them greasy. Oh. I'd remove my skin, uh. restitch it, and oh. wear it as a cardigan. Oh. <clears throat> I would have a dulap. No. Oh. Ah. 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 Monster. I just don't see how you can call Torgo a monster. But he is. No. He is a monster. No, he isn't. He's a monster. Uh -uh. He is uh, a cut it out. And that cut is it out. Is <laughs> oh, no, we got mommy's <laughs> That. A symbol for their love? Well, it's not framed very well. Mm. There, there, honey. We can have another daughter and a poodle, too. <laughs> yes. Sarah, oh, come on. Don't You're worry. soaking my favorite golf sweater. <laughs> honey, when you look for someone, what do you do? Debbie? Little Debbie? Snicker. Debbie? Debbie knows it's Prince Spaghetti Night. All right, freeze, Debbie, not another step. Don't move. Mike, it's the dog from the portrait. Stand back, Debbie, stand back. Hmm? It's a devil and it's fun. <laughs> His name's Mephisto. Can we keep him? Uh, uh, hmm? Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. Kids worship the <laughs> darndest things. <laughs> oh, nice. But you should never run away from us. Debbie, don't ever run away from and us. And don't consort with the devil. Where did you find a new dog, baby? In a big place. In a big place? Where, Debbie? The Northwest Territories. There was a big dark place. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. Oh, she tells a good story, huh? Yeah. Where is the place, Debbie? Over here, Wait a minute, I think she wants us to follow her, Laura. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight at the Copacabana, Jules Padel proudly presents Pat Benatar and Trisha Nixon. Mm, Mike, it's horrible. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm Tom Bedette. We'll leave a pie around for you. <laughs> oh, for fun. Great dinner, too. Oh, mm. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. Great hotel. Really convenient to the mouth of hell. Mm. 29 bucks a night for what? They've done a lot with the place. Um, <laughs> boss, I got the ice machine fixed. Daddy, I need a drink of water. I yeah. want her. In mine, 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 do you hear? I want this one. You have all the wives you need. It's mine. Go! And in a moment, the results of that trial. I just wanted to know if you could work for me Saturday. Oh, you pretty ones. Let me see how good you are. I won't need He's you doing anymore. Macbeth. I have my own life. I won't have to come in here to greet It was I... Callahan, the big one. He did this to me. You, you are the worst. You were his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. Ah, uh, Torgo, don't burn any bridges yet, buddy. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I thought that might be. Devil's comforter. So do you want to get some coffee or something? Itty bitty spider goes up the water. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I realize this is a little awkward. <laughs> oh. Well, his technique has improved somewhat. Thank you for letting me get this off my chest. <laughs> uh oh, wow. Oh. Uh, uh, let's just keep this between you and me. Now I must undo it, all of you. <laughs> oh, my hernia. And there goes Torgo, he's rounding the master, heading for the straightaway, and there he goes! Hmm? Oh, well, I don't know. I guess it hasn't been that good of a vacation. Hmm. Torgo, I just met a fella named Torgo. Marilyn Quail in Baby Doll. Hmm. Mrs. Phyllis Torgo. Guess I kind of like it. Hmm. Oh, ah. listen, you guys, that's it. This is not for uh, your eyes. What, I don't what care. Is, what is uh -oh. it? What's going on, Joel? Shame on you, Dr. Forster. Have you no sense of decency? What? What? Is Torgo juggling? Joel, we can handle this. Oh, it's the latest episode of the Taster's Choice Saga. <laughs> Showers, anyone? Mm. Parents, now would be a good time to talk to your children. Hmm? For whom I'm gone? Where is Siegfried? Hello, Roy. Hello, Siegfried. Hello, Roy. Who was looking at Maggie the cat? Oh, got him right in the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a spaceship. It's a flashlight. Oh. My leg, my leg, oh, oh, my, my leg, my other leg, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. It looks like a really cheap Robert Bly workshop. Yeah. Man, I hit a lot of guys, buddy, but you really take the cake. <laughs> Tap, you're down. <laughs> oh, and the hell of it is he's never going to get that cashmere sweater clean. Mm. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, Targo, no, no. Oh, now he's really becoming unappealing. Oh. You know, maybe Targo should have let him get closer to that pole and then hit him. Ooh. Oh, great. Targo's giving him a Snuggie. <laughs> That was Manos, the Hands of Fate, on Music Through the Night. I'm Lee Kennedy. Float! Oh, oh, man, I left a wake-up call for 1953. What year is it? Oh, man, I don't mind telling you my bladder has hit critical mass. Mm. Ah. Doggy Gawakis? Hmm? It is that a good doggy? Yes, good hell beast. Mm. He's not a morning person. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, I get it. Ah. Mm. Next week on Manos. <laughs> Something happens after this? So kiss a little longer. Fresh. Some delicious A1, my pet. Oh, Roy, you shouldn't have. Hey, this is Polo. Hey, that's a reason to kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez, kissing. I love this stuff. Love it. Hey, come on, it's the 60s. There's no getting your fingers through a woman's hair there.
Whoa-oh. Officer, interrupt us. <laughs> Again? How many times do you have to be told? Twelve. <laughs> have a heart, will you? I do. Go chase that other couple. What other couple? <clears throat> you want to handle this one, honey? Who's that? It's the one deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere. So now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. We'll just go ten yards up the road. The love vigilantes. It's the Makeout County line. <laughs> Think we should try some of that kissing, Bert? Mm. No? Mm -mm. Okay. They like kissing. Go figure. Uh, well, I mean, drive. Okay, I'll drive, I guess. Yep. When there's a full moon, I tell you, that's when the crazies come out. Uh huh. Tell you. Uh, Stephanie, bring me some coffee and a pop tart, and bring your steno pad. Oh man, I gotta get ten more minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute, do I smell bacon? Honey, I love you! Oh, Manos, thou of primal darkness. It's a moody thou blow song. Thou who dwelleth in the depth of the universe, in the black chasms of night. You know who you are. Come on, Satan, pick up. I know you're there. Bill Buckner! Mm, now that is a cute cat. Oh my god, my pants are on fire. Manos, the hands of fate? Hmm, Manos. Mm. Thou bestowest the mother darkness upon thy faithful. Go ahead, I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Thou dost make him most blessed forever. Michael Franks. And thou who dost curse with eternal burning light those who transgress against thee. Holy art thou, holy art thou, Brenner. holy art thou, sort of. Manos will be done. Mammy. Thy priesthood remains steadfast. Oh, you can see the zipper. Thy priesthood remains constant. Thy priesthood remains righteous. <laughs> thou hast taught us, O Manos, and we have listened. Give ear to our words, O Manos, and hear us. Hear us, hear us, okay. for we are faithful, and thou art our God. The black and red Moses of soul. Arise, my wives. And I earn my work shirt. Give ear to the words of Manos. <laughs> Arise, my <laughs> wives, <laughs> and hear the will of Manos. Okay, I'm up, I'm up. What was I thinking? I mean, who can afford Lancome makeup, huh? One of these days, Alice! Alice is. Women who lunch. And the man also loved them. Next down here. Why has the child been brought here? Why? And a female child is back. You can't just buy the cleanser. You have to buy the whole package. No. You know, this scene is strong enough for a man -os, but made for a woman -os. Fate. <laughs> And now back to We Married Manos. We've never complained about sacrificing a man. But a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. Oh, is that how she that must works? Be killed. No. I am the no. oldest of the wives, and it is my privilege. Enough! Enough of this stupid bickering. A child must die. Oh, Ooh. boo! Boo! If you persist in this foolishness... I'll you'll take your charge cards. Thank end. you. Good night. Say what you will, I will have no part of this madness. Okay, Stay Betty's there. out. No, I say she must die. Well, they're, they're having a very spirited group place. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Carlos should never have allowed them in, and I want... You have caused enough trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Hmm. Silence! It's golden! Silence! It's golden! <laughs> And now, my wives, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. But first, funny man Torgo. Mortigonti. He's the one. Get Torgo. Hmm. You are responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later. 
What do I pay you people for anyway? You're all just sitting around. It's a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Cheese, maybe. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. And spoil the rod. Hmm? It is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. I'm calling a cab. Yes, he has no more time for an older wife. <coughs> Just the next burning huh. in there. <clears throat> Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? <coughs> you are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. Next time, tell me when you're wearing your white sheet. Die? I may die, but I do not care. The child must live. Die, die, That's my right. darling. We will not kill the child. But Manos would not approve. Just go over his head. The law of Manos exists for us only. Hmm? Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. And she must let's die. hear Susan's presentation, and then let's break into small groups and discuss this. Hey, then you swing your partners to and fro. Take her by the arm and do-si-do. -do. Promenade. If he hears of this, he will be furious. Yeah, you're lucky my chick's here. You're all mad. Mad, the whole lot of you. <laughs> the man, yes. The child, no. Uh, moms, I think you might want to take the kids out of the room now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the talk's broke down at this point. This is like the Russian parliament. Next on ESPN, Full Contact Nightgown Wrestling. Designing Women, the Lost Episodes. And now the Manos Women's Guild will reenact the Battle of Pearl Harbor. Dig it. Ooh. 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 You know, this was the alternate ending, the beaches. <laughs> oh. I see London, I see France, I see everybody's underpants. <laughs> you know, this isn't Miss Estrada. I like it, but it isn't Miss Estrada. You know, after this, they're going to laugh and cry and pierce each other's ears. Yeah. Yep. It's the Wilson Phillips breakup. I kind of wish this was shirts versus skin. Hey. <laughs> oh. Zing. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. You know what this movie really needs? It's Mark Singer. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing this is the whole reason this movie was made. Mm. Right here. This Pow! Right here? Boff! Smack! Biff! Oh, great. I never wanted to see this. And I don't want to see Torgo in something sheer. No. Torgo, you're missing the fight. Get your dress on and get in there. Torgo, you're the laziest man on Mars. Torgo, get up. You're late for your route. Ooh, right in the store. Ouch. Hey, boy. How you doing? Hey, sit. Thanks for letting me crash here last night, man. Uh oh. Did my legs really get big last night? Oh, man. He has got a torg over. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't help me or anything, boss. Uh oh. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes. Oh, this is so awkward. Yes, Do something! Gah! <laughs> what are you doing here? Keep away from me! Keep away! You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visits to the tomb. What happened to the bright young Torgo I hired? My visits? <laughs> the women have told me. Well, you're parked in the yellow zone. They may not be able to say anything or move when you're there. But they remember everything you say to them. Oh, my God, I'm so and embarrassed. everything you do to them. What, what do you mean, Pa? Hmm? But, Master, you have six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? Makes a good You're point. One of us. Therefore, you cannot have one of them. But I have one now. This one is mine. You'll never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. Oh, strict boss, huh? Wow. Failed you? No. You have failed yourselves. 
You never kill them. I'll help them. We failed. And you must die. You can't kill me. I quit. I'm going to have to ask for my last paycheck right now, sir. What? What? Mm. Oh. Mm. Is this your card? <laughs> you know, as a boss, you should be building them up right now. Does this bug you? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. <laughs> Cut it out, you fam. <laughs> So he kills him by waving a rusty tailpipe in front of him? Get that cat off the piano. Oh, I'm just kidding, Torgo. I'm not gonna kill you. Get back to work, you bum. Oh. <laughs> hey, I just remembered Family Circus was really funny today. Magos, God of primal darkness. Can you believe As this? As thou hast decreed, so have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. You know what? I bet Torgo's changing Thy back there. Thy will is done. Hey. Never steal anything wet. Huh? Say, who's the new guy? Hey, who planted a man? Oh, I see you're kind of tied up right now. <laughs> I'm dead, but I'm still funny. Oh, I hope she doesn't make like Jenny Fields. Oh. No, I shouldn't. I... I don't know how to love him. <laughs> Let's see, honey, I was tied up and unconscious. There was nothing I could do. Is she telling him a secret? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All over him. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I have the feeling you're not interested in me. Don't you ever try that again. Ever. It was a brief affair and it ended bitterly. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> hmm. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, back to the supply hut. Hmm. Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank. We return to Girl Talk with Virginia Graham. Relax, it's a natural exfoliant. Just ease into it. Say uncle! <laughs> Say girl to uncle. Again. When are you gonna kill me, boss? And the bench is clear! It's a rather gentle rumble. She's my sister! She's my daughter! She's my sister! <laughs> the movie has kind of a Ken Russell feel to it, I'd say. Carol Brady! The maiden form woman. You never know where she'll turn up. Look, I think we were basically all in agreement anyways. Clearance sales are brutal. Oh. <laughs> huh? Big knees, oh, oh. Hey, how come no one invited me to the brawl? Michael, Michael where are you? Oh, I don't like that neckline at all. I'm gonna say this is cute. Salutations, imperfect one! I am the monster, and you are mysteriously drawn to me. Everything I say, you must do right away without having to ask twice. I am evil and mean and unforgiving. In your brokenness, you have failed and now must repent. Bow down now before me! Bow down! Oh, hi, Joel. Well, come on, Tom. I was just commanding you to do my will. Besides, look. Come to me, for I am the magnet, and you are steel. Well, you look like Maud. 
Well, come on, I think this cloak exudes power and manliness, and uh, hey, look, I got a horrifying hell beast right here. It's yeah, pretty it's really scary. Well, you just look like Maud with a hell beast. Oh, you mean Estelle Getty? But Tom, look! Come on, Joel, the cloak is grand, the workmanship is superb, but a neat caftan doesn't automatically qualify you as a devil's spin doctor. Oh, come on, look, it's lined, I got inside pockets, I get a little special one for my Mentos, it's even got a cotton panel. Uh, Joel, uh, Tom's right. It's just not working. You're not the evil type. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, your, your face is too friendly. Uh, second, your eyebrows, they arc softly as opposed to jutting inward. Mm -hmm. And, well, frankly, Joel, you blush in the most adorable way. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. Oh, great, the mads are calling you. Uh, hi, fellas. Look, I, uh, I, I just wanted to let you know, I know this movie's a tough one, and I just wanted to let you know I feel for you. I... Doctor, caramel corn's ready. Do you want it in your little mermaid ball? Uh, fine, sure. Now you realize if you tell Frank I've done this, I'll have to kill him. So let's not, okay? Enough said. Alrighty, bye bye It's cute, though. Mm, <laughs> come on. Freddie Mercury! Jimmy Hoffa, the last known photo. More the same. Girls, girls, you're all pretty. Stop! What is this? There! Models must be served! There you are! I've served! She is the one. She has upset all of our plans. This foolishness must stop. Okay. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm... Uh, uh, boss, I really need to know about the execution. I have things to... Well, I used to go out with all these women, and now they're all here, Kodachrome. Oof. Well, we're going to do some story time now. Torgo, sit down. There's been enough trouble. Right here Our in River City. must be served. There will be no further insulin. But I need my insulin. But the child... We cannot kill a child. Mm. We can. Let's wrestle for it. You have caused enough trouble. Well, Cindy started it. We have we, didn't... Of Torgo, we shall take care of you. Um, should Torgo be at this meeting? Your power fails you. I you know what no she's more. really saying. Ooh. Seize her and prepare her for sacrifice. Well, I guess I'm just a little too outspoken. The amazing Technicolor Poncho. All right, now let's see. The rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the tree. That's a, okay. Now remember, I like to be lightly praised. Well done, my wife. Now get the potatoes. The wheel of Manos shall be served. Pull my finger. We are going to make you look terrific. Mm. They're going to wax his bikini area. <laughs> He's got Earl Campbell thighs. Oh, oh. oh, boy, I'm exhausted. Oh, my dogs are barking today, let me tell you. Torgo, <laughs> that guy can sleep anywhere. Mm -hmm. It is the will of Manos that he be sacrificed. Oh, no, not liturgical dance. Hey, is he flipping us off? Hmm? Huh? Right. Kill. 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 Okay. Mondo has decreed it. Kill. Kill. <laughs> Kill. Yes, dear, I'm doing it, dear. Boy, what I wouldn't give to be Torgo right now. Look, I'm just a town. Bye. Really don't I? Oh. They're rolfing him to death. Does this make you cry? Huh, baby? Cry? You gonna cry, huh? Mike, help us. You have to want to help yourself. <laughs> oh, well, this has been a good night, honey. Honey? Honey? 
Mm. You know, I love my Craftmatic pull. That was the most comfortable sleep I've ever had. Oh, whoa, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hey, dear ever ready. I was tied to a post all night and left my flashlight's batteries. Don't play with your food. Punch, punch. There. <laughs> oh, wow. Come on, die. My arms are getting tired. Uh, Beth, you want to help out here? Hmm? Oops. Huh. Huh? You know, there are certain flaws in this film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Margaret, open the door. I can't. I'm waiting for Mike. But... Margaret, open the door. No, I don't like you anymore. Hey! Enough! The ceremony is done. Pause and punch in the fellowship hall. Uh, can I have the watermelon that are in his pants? Oh. <coughs> no. You know, Turgo doesn't get a lot of respect around him. Oh, great. Where am I going to find another Torgo? Hey, smoke on the weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. The new pope has not been chosen. Uh, boss, you want to give me a hand here? I'm having a little gravity problem. <laughs> oh, you know the hand thing really works. I got to try it with women next time. This is the tender side of Manos, the hands of fate. Oh, oh it's gonna be just like in The Grifters. Ooh. Only worse. <laughs> Chard finger! Thanks, boss. I'm off. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, the Jamaican wings are ready. Huh. This doesn't really strike me as a ha-ha kind of funny. It's more of a quiet kind of funny. Yeah, introspective. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Killing doesn't help anymore. You're all finished. Hey, I ordered it medium rare. Your turn will come as soon as we have disposed of the others. Go find the others. Oof. Hurry, before the come night gets away. That's a guy's hand, not a sparkler, for crying out loud. I think he has the most musical laugh I've heard. Light hand and get away. But the window, I saw him at that window. Okay, honey, we'll leave, we'll leave. We've it's got to leave now. I can't stand it any longer, please. We oh, really haven't given this hotel a we'll chance. Hide in the desert. Someone will help. The gods will destroy you. Your power. Oh, she's reading him the right act, huh, boy? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Destroy. <laughs> the gods destroy me. <laughs> destroy me. I am permanent. Manos has made me permanent. <laughs> your power fails you. You are losing your control. Even Torgo defied you. And he was destroyed even as you shall be. Your power does not affect me anymore. Even your other wives do not trust you. <laughs> See, I do not fear you, even though you beat me. Beat me again. Beat! Beat! <laughs> <laughs> I do not fear you. Take that.
Bobby and run. No, darling, we'll make it. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing up that way. Let, let, let's go this way. We should really get going. Did mommy come back from another bar? I can't make it, Mike. I can't make it. Okay, honey, we'll meet you there then. Bye. Hey, baby. Hey, Debbie. A most dangerous game. Oh, you guys, come on. You're ruining the sacrifice. Guys. <laughs> it's Mary Kay, Kay, Kay. <laughs> Julia Roberts? Seen it. I wish those hands would just push him over. So they're, um, looking then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So, Manos. The hands of fate. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll rest here for a minute. We can make it. Daddy, Let's I'm go back. sitting in poison never ivy. Think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, Mike, please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. What? Honey, I'm brilliant. You could kiss me. Oh. Okay, I'm out of here. You tampered in God's domain. We'll have to go back. Okay. So I'm an idiot. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. Daddy, I'm scared. Where's my puppy? Please, Debbie, not now. Your puppy's compost, kid. Ooh. All right, break it up. Nothing to offer, kid. Hey, uh, somebody filming a bad movie out here? These guys have the longest shift. Oh, there you are, Ted. <laughs> Didn't see you around. I'd like to dedicate this next song to the little lady. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. This hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondock. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. Or even Europe. Parts of Canada. Maybe we didn't hear it. Ever think of that? Well, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not all that curious. Let's go get some hash browns, huh? Dreamsicle? Whew, I'm bushed after that. Mm -hmm. oh. <clears throat> Fred, you ever feel like crying and you just don't know why? You know, the place looks pretty cheerful without those devil worshippers around. Mm -hmm. It's like they're walking into a John Waters film. Surprise, surprise, surprise! <laughs> Why, Russ Weatherwax really topped himself with this dog. Can, can, can you hold that cue card up? up? 
what to take? Oh yeah, barf. Bad beneficial. Focus. Oh, it's a stare down. Focus. Oh, thank you very much. A shot in the face. How nice. Focus. Meanwhile in Toledo. Oh, no, wait a minute. Did this movie just lap itself? <sighs> Riders on the storm. Another convertible, another town, another movie? Menos the hands of fate. Hmm? Sure is good to get away. Damn the rain. Vacations are fine, but this one should be great. <laughs> yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. What a blast. <laughs> hmm. Oh, oh, wait, there's something gaining on us. Oh, oh, never mind. It's just the top. I'm intensely stupid. Just take your half of the road out of the middle there. That's right. This must be a weekly series. So, so I told Gary that I was going on this vacation. So he goes, well, then I'm going hunting with Jeff next weekend. Well, that's when we were at Nye's. And then Lou sang Fernando and then Gary, oh, he sings so good. Oh, you should meet Jeff sometime. Do you like Barry Manilow's songs? I know the farmers need rain, but when it's stamped like this, my hair just explodes, just explodes. Ooh, ooh, I'm feeling kind of gassy. McNuggets, you know, they make me so gassy, all that grease and all. It really helps if you drink eight to 10 glasses of water a day. Did you know that? Sometimes I drink five, sometimes I drink nine just to make up for the other three I didn't drink. Well, coffee and diet drinks don't count either. You know, this is pretty country, isn't it? You know, it's really kind of a blessing in disguise that I didn't get accepted to college. Huh? You know, I'm going to have to revise my 20-year plan, but oh, did I tell you about my 20-year plan? Okay, well, okay, listen here. In year one, this is the year when I'm going to take off those extra seven pounds. You know, that's equal to seven pounds of butter. <laughs> so it's like I'm wearing seven pounds of butter. <laughs> and, oh, no, oh, oh, where was I? Oh, oh, yeah, so my aunt and uncle here, they celebrated the 20th anniversary, and my uncle wanted to sing uh, Sunrise, Sunset. He wanted me to sing that, and I haven't sung that since Cindy's wedding, and, well, she never thanked me for that. Well, I'm still, uh, well, you know, she's probably really busy and all, but... Still kissing six straight days? The strange sounding door? Joan Kennedy? Welcome. The hell? Whoa, this is blowing my mind. Oh, oh man! No! no! Where's Targo? We came to see Targo. I am Michael. Bye, Bye Mike. Mike. I take care of the place while the master is away. Oh, oh it's over. <sighs> I ain't going to play Sun City. He has a kind face. <laughs> it's starting over. No, no, no. Oh, I can't this take it. really <laughs> bites. Mm-hmm. That was my key carrying. This limited edition, suitable for framing print, is now on sale in Lobby, along with the soundtrack to Manos, The Hands of Fate. Starring no one. Faded photograph. Which do you find the most loathsome? Oh, Joel, there's a buffet of loathsomeness in this movie. You think he was proud of this role? Mm -hmm. Remember that, the leaning scene there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went on to do Torgo at Disney World. I'm forgetting you. This was a heartwarming scene. Mm. Ben Vereen? Why is he yelling at us? Ah, forget it. Oh. Jerk! 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 You. She was traumatized for life after this. I bet. Oh no, this one. She was good. She was the glue that held this picture together. No, I don't want to be in this movie. Don't forget. Mm, they all wanted to be Dean Martin's gold diggers, you know. <laughs> Make out. Come on. Kiss her. Sing around the campfire. Oh. And you know, these are all outtakes. This is oh, stuff they didn't use. You don't need them for mm -hmm. Crew? They had a crew? I do not believe they had okay, a crew. Okay, whoa, thing. everybody pick out someone you want to punch. Uh, we're gonna start. Touch it, touch it, come on! You want to? 
Oh, and these two, like Alan and Rossi, they were really, they stole the show. Hmm? Oh, they must be dental technicians. Huh? Oh, look at that cavity. Have you been flossing? Oh, and who can forget the nutty sorority rush? <laughs> and the tender peeping Torgo scene. A triple boofer, Warren. If you'd like to contact Harold P. Warren, look in the yellow pages for the Fertilizer Corporation of Texas. The end? Oh. Yes. No, oh, I want to change my answer. No, I'll oh. always wonder. <sighs> Come on. Okay, thank you, El Paso. Good night. We're out of here. We're going to take a break. We've been Manos, the yes. hands of faith. I still don't see how dressing in diaphanous robes and slapping each other around is going to make Joel happy. Well, don't hurt yourself thinking about it. Now shut up and wrestle, spinach chin. Okay, well, what the sand scratch is going on around here? Uh, uh, well, we're just playing the Satan lady wrestling game. How we cheer you up? Guys, Gypsy, I don't think this is a good idea for you. Why? Well, we're in ear protection. I'll explain to later. What do you think, oh, sir? Oh, Gypsy? Oh, 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 oh. oh. That's great, Joel. Very amusing. Uh, oh, by the way, did you see Andy Cap today? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> he came home after being drunk all night Frank, and cheating on Flo. <laughs> where is our pizza? It's been two hours since you ordered. Well, I called Togo's Pizza. They were busy, so I ended up having to order from Torgo's Pizza. Come in. Large sausage and mushroom thin crust. That's us. The total is fourteen fifty, please. Here. Do you have anything smaller? I only carry twenty dollars in change. That's all I have. I have a twenty. Well, why didn't you give him the twenty? Well, I was saving it. You know. Would that, you please that, give you know. him the twenty? Thank you. I'll get your change. I'll keep it. Thank you very much, sir. Let me just get your complimentary crazy bread. No, 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 no it's no, okay. That's quite all, all right. right. Uh, hey, what about our pop? I left it in the car. I'll be right back. Oh. Uh, until next time, Jewel. Push the button, Frank. Say, so, you know, it's been two hours, but it's still pretty warm. <laughs> they always do that. 